Hi, I'm Jess Ballard here for Cal TV, and we are joined by Bailey Crone and Damon Moon of Bathe Alone, host their fantastic show in San Francisco. A really well done job for tonight, guys. You did amazing. Oh, thanks so much. So, people unfamiliar with your music, how would you sum it up in like three sentences, all your work? Um, moody, immersive. Oh, I'm doing three words. Oh, I'll uh, just stick with that. I love and that. then, and then, um, uh, moody. Yeah, okay. Moody, immersive. Uh, I don't know, dreamy. I guess. How did you two meet? How did Babe Alone start? What's your guys' origin story? Well, okay. 2018, around, I was in another band, and we were looking for a producer, and uh, my bandmate found Damon. And he worked on other bands that we liked, like Lunar Vacation. And um, we went towards the studio and felt like immediately comfortable. And um, so I worked with him for multiple bands, actually. And then eventually, Damon, I showed you like some demos of like tarot cards. Yeah. And I just wanted to like keep making music, but make my own music too. And yeah. If someone were unfamiliar with your music, let's say, what is the one song you would put on to show them what Bane Loan is and what everything you guys represent for the world mm -hmm. to choose? I know which one my dad would say. <laughs> <laughs> he would say Decades and Dreams. Yeah. But of our current sound. Yeah. Probably we, Decades or Missionary Ridge. Can I ask why Bathe Alone? Why did you guys choose that as your pseudonym or your moniker? <laughs> um, it started out as just like Bathe, but there's already like four other Bathe bands. And um, I was going to therapy for like anxiety about just being alone. I, I, I went through some trauma in retail and I have like this thing where I'm just afraid to be alone. I've, I feel like I've conquered that for the most part but I wrote out like on a sticky paper okay so I can't have the name Bath what do I want to have and I was just writing all these like names that went with it and my ex at the time found the sticky note and was like I like the one that says Bath alone and I just went with it. Um, so you guys have a new single called Archive 81 um, this week congrats I've heard it it's really beautiful. Thanks. Can you delve further into the inspiration behind the song, and if someone were to listen to it, what do you, what do you want them to leave thinking or feeling? With that song in particular, I don't know, it's kind of like a, a yearning song, but I want people to feel just immersed in, I mean, that's always the goal, is immersion, but I, I just embracing being honest. Watching your guys' performance, there was like an extremely tangible connection between the band which made watching it like all the more special. How do you think you guys have gotten closer since you guys have been on this tour and what kind of <coughs> memories, like what's maybe one of your favorite memories from being on tour together? Yeah, I think we've gotten to know one another better. We're all pretty tight, you know. Yeah. Favorite memory though? Favorite memory, oh my god. The drives, like the drives, some of them have been really bad. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, um, but also like those are the things that, that you remember and, and just like getting through the night drives and the, the, uh, the com camaraderie. So you guys are in this really interesting new genre of dream pop. Do you guys ever feel confined to it or are there like, new, or do you feel like the music genre is like the music industry allows you to kind of explore whatever you want to explore? Like what sort of genres would you want to explore in the future? That's a good question. I feel like dream pop is, it's different for a lot of different artists. Like a lot of people, it's, it's guitars and drums and bandy band sounding things. And I feel like we're trying to take it in a direction that's like, it has those elements, but it's also like super produced. Yeah. And sometimes it can take you out of the immersion for like a split second and you realize oh shit this is like a song that someone actually made and they clipped it and it, there's samples happening and it's like it's art in that sort of way which to me is really really pop and I love 
that we're leaning more into like a, we didn't just like set up some mics and then play for three minutes and see if that was the take like I really love polishing and making immersive moments with production in a more pop way how do you want people to kind of leave your concerts like how do you want to leave people feeling after seeing the guys perform mm. I want them to feel like they want to play some music, they want to make some music, that they just love music. Yeah, that's what I love feeling when I watch a band that inspires me to just like, oh, I want to go home now, so I can like make something that sounds <laughs> yeah. like that and makes me feel like that. And I mean, I'm, I'm actually a songwriter and I feel very inspired. So oh, like, <laughs> you guys are amazing. Yeah. Um, and what's kind of next for you guys? What's your five-year plan to put it in? Or just what, what do you guys want to pursue next after this tour? Mm. We're working on a lot of new music. Um, so we'll be, obviously like we <coughs> would love to hit the road more often. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll be in Austin for South by Southwest uh, in March. And then that's kind of the only thing right now uh, on the live front, but we're working on tons of new music. So that's always, all, we're always in that uh, world. Um, well, I think that's all the questions I have. Is that going good for time? Yeah, well thank you guys so much. We're so lucky to be joined tonight by Dave Alone from a fantastic concert. It's been such an honor talking to you guys. I cannot wait to see what you do next. Thank you guys so much. Thanks so much. Thanks.